Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena on the page 2.22. This time in a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the map Brandy Hills, it's gonna be Gondor against our Mordor. Join us in the dark side of the forest. It's a classic matchup too, good against evil. So Orc Pit opening and always Smeagol. Um, I don't remember this map anymore. I don't play uh, regularly multiplayer games since a very long time. No, 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 he's saying. <laughs> Bro. I mean, when you are not confident, you will lose immediately anyway, Grant. You have the name of a, of a very strong thing of Middle Earth. Grant, Grant. Millions of orcs are chanting your name. So you cannot be, you know, nervous. More laborers, eh? Put them to work. Okay, I'm gonna try something different actually in this one. Usually I end up defending myself exclusively, but this time I wanna put some pressure on my opponent. So I will give up the settlement there, it's no problem for me. But I will try to destroy his settlements. Remember we have a settlement very close to our castle, and it will be quite easy for us to protect it. So if we give up the settlement, but we exchange it by taking down his settlements, I think it could be, you know, worth a try. Oh, he didn't even... Okay, we need to use Eye of Sauron, actually, to kill the Hobbit. If we can kill the Hobbit, that's gonna be huge. Smeagol! No, I could... I didn't pay attention. No, oh, my bad. My bad. So the plan is to stall until we get more orcs recruited. Fighting around your orc pit is always beneficial because, you know, you don't have to walk a long distance after your orcs have been recruited. I'm gonna buy this. Give me the lumber mill. And maybe we can kill. He has no throw stone. Rock, nice. We couldn't destroy that zero percent. That's pretty good for me. Oh, he went for the Albin Wood, but I think that's a mistake. Destroying this one is going to be super important, uh, super impossible because I can just build a tower and protect it. And he also used the Albin Wood after taking way too much damage. So I would definitely recommend to go for the heal there. Or if you go for the lane, you need to do it faster. So we should be in a phenomenal spot. Look at that. We took everything from him down in exchange to only one outer settlement. But we have plenty of orcs upon the field. With them, we can creep the whole map, you know? And that's the power of Mordor. This is what you will get if you join the dark side of the force. Become a Sith. Like Anakin Skywalker, you know? Okay, so we need to get a bit more eco before the Haradrim Palace. I like to go for the Haradrim Palace because it gives me the chance to also creep trolls and works way easier, you know? I think he's super behind, by the way. I don't know where, where his knights are at. You know, they are, uh, they should, they're supposed to be there a long time ago. Okay, so, I mean, he has basically zero outer settlements, so he has almost no food bonus for the, for the horses. I'm wondering if he actually goes for the, for the Faramir Boromir action, because I'm wondering where his knights are at, you know? You sneaky little hobbit. And, you know, the other thing is, I don't like to, when I play Gondor against Mordor, I don't really like to get the land. Because Mordor can easily cover this, even if he starts with the Eye of Sauron. Before you can get to use your second land, he will have his own land available. So while it's good against factions like Rohan and Isengard, who need more than one power point to unlock their land, Mordor can do that just like Gondor with only one mercy. I'm not gonna show you mercy, sneaky little hobbit. Die now. Let's go for the creeping. I mean, his knights were ultra delete. I don't know if he was building the whole castle before going for the steel world, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You want to punish Mordor early game. You know, later on it's going to be quite difficult for you because you will have to deal with trolls, you will have to deal with the rune soldiers. 
the pikemen of Mordor, you know. More laborers, eh? Put them to work. But my fingers are so cold, boys, you can't even imagine. Get to work. Follow me. Look at those orc hordes. Keep you squeezing laborers. Get to work. Men of Herod. You laborers. Weapon. Get to work. Nice. Oh, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Now move to move to the trolley now. Take the money too. That's what we do. Let's go for the creep. And we creep simultaneously the whole map with two production buildings all alone. All you gotta do is get, uh, you know, we can also, I mean, we could go for the second orc pit. But after the start we got, I was thinking that we don't need it, you know. We can always build the second or even the third orc pit around the outpost we will capture very soon. Going for the troll cage next. Super important. Get everything. Don't give him anything. I want to give it to the Aradrim so they get level 2. Beautiful. Now we have also industry. That's amazing. We can use it immediately. But we are losing the map control. But that's that's okay, you know. We have double outpost control. We have a full base. Okay, I mean the mountain mountain troll is gonna be quite helpful. Um, I don't know how about how many power points he collected, but it can't be that many. So what he took maybe one or two creeps max. We took the whole map. I mean obviously we lost orcs, but they don't feed too many power points, so we should be. Um, miles ahead in in the PowerPoint department. I want to give it to the Haradrims. Don't attack! Don't attack! Don't attack! Give it Haradrims! 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 You can do it. Nice. Okay, more trolls required. Um, with the trolls, we can keep uh, the knights away from our settlements. You know, I'm a greedy person. I don't like to share the map control. I'm, you know, like the Dark Lord Sauron, and there can only be the one which has the map control. Also, with the Mordor, it's quite um, different. I, I don't want to say it's easier, but I want to say it's different, because your units, your primary unit, are the Orc Warriors, and they are for free. So you don't really need to watch over every Orc Battalion, even if you lose them, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? So he never, he didn't even creep this, so I think he, he took only this creep there, you know? So he should not have a lot of money. But we need the trolls to do some stuff for us. Ooh, going for the archers. I see you. I see you. Put pressure on him, boys. Put pressure on him. So when, as long as we pressure his side of the map, he will be busy dealing with his own, uh, you know, area, which means we will have a free time. And Mordor is a ultra scaling faction. Remember that one. So we will only get stronger. Some factions do scale a bit more with the power points. Mordor is a faction that scales much more with the resources, you know? So remember, it's a very unique faction. You don't have the pressure on you that you need to level up your heroes. Like Rohan does, for example, with his Eoma or Theorin, or Isengard does with his Lurts, or Gondor does with Boromir, Faramir, and even Gandalf. You don't have this pressure. All your heroes come at max level, and their purpose is also way different than the purpose of the other heroes in the game. So in this, in this uh, faction, 
all you care about is having money resources you know I mean he has plenty of archers but he has not even upgrades on them I think he's super broke I don't think he has money so we can go no no I didn't want to do that no I want to go for the for the tree in our hands I think one of the major mistakes from him was that he went for the Knights of Condor a little bit too late, you know? Should have been doing that way before. You see, we have continuous pressure on him. When you play against Mordor as Condor, you need like more than two Knights of Condor. You need like three, maybe even four Knights. So your, one of your knights or even maybe two of them can continuously hunt those orcs down and trample them. If you have only two knights, you need to, you have to decide, do I kill the orcs or do I destroy his farms? But you can't do both at the same time, you know, that's not possible. So now we are going to be just waiting for our leader, for the witch king, but I won't let him take down the outpost here. We will fight for this outpost. If he wants to fight, I'm totally down. And I send the drum in first. And then we will join with the trolls right after. Trolls are faster than the drummer. So you need to always keep that in mind. You want to always fight in an area where your trolls have the leadership from the drummer troll. It's, you know, there, there is not too much things you need to pay attention about. But this is one of the major things. With Mordor... You have no heavy armor, you have no forge fleets, but in exchange to that, you have crazy amount of leadership bonuses. Drummer, Beach King, Eye of Sauron, and Darkness. You have four tools, you know, and leadership is basically like armor, because what armor does is increasing your armor, uh, you know, your resistances. But armor leadership does pretty much the same thing. Almost the money for the Beach King, give it to me. Nice. You have still the chance, boys. You can still join the dark side of the force. Just swear allegiance to Sauron. Just type in the comment section down below. I swear allegiance to Sauron. The dark lord. The true lord of the rings. Oh, he's coming to my base. But I think it's too late, bro. I have, like, everything level 3 now. It's gonna shoot you down. And he has not even forge blades on his knights, you know. Now what? Now you can only run away, just like in the films. Oh my god, this guy is trying to camp against me. He's trying to camp, but he doesn't know that I'm Mordor. Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful, Witch King. The camping action, bro. I will show you that there is no camping against Mordor. Put the mummy kill in this airplane. It's them. They're attacking. I mean, I, that's gonna be like the perfect proof that Mordor has no difficulty of dealing with a camper. I mean, he's trying to camp with arches only. He has not the money for the stone marker. He has not the money for the for the trebuchet. And that's only because we were the one who were controlling the minimap. The, the settlements outside but if you find your opponent in a situation like this and we have not darkness available just yet uh, committing with the trolls might work out 
but it's a bit risky. When it doesn't work out, you will end up giving lots of experience points and also power points to your opponent, and he will have a momentum advantage in which he might push you, and this push might even end the game. So in this situation, don't get impatient. We are in a winning spot, and all we have to do is play it smart and also a bit slow. So we need to break the parts of the wall um, before going in, and the catapults will also make sure that the enemy cannot stay on top of the wall. They need to stay in the base, but not on top of the wall, because my catapults would literally smash them. So here is the idea quite simple. We break the parts, uh, we break the wall apart, um, you know, kind of create an opening and an entrance possibility for the monster army. With monster ar army, I mean drummer troll, mountain troll, you know, mumma kill. And I also like to put the Orc Arches on top of the Mumma Kills, you know. They have also a great amount of damage output. And we, we are only missing one power point for the Darkness. It's gonna change everything. Knock knock. Where is the horse and the rider, you know. Where, where is the Rohirrim summon? Let's be honest, in the films, Gondor and Rohan were super weak, you know? And the only way they managed to survive was because of the teamwork, because they got assistances. But even though Saruman and also Sauron were actually in one team, they decided to solo their opponents, you know, without any help. Not even Ayao Sauron was used on the Isengard army for leadership, bro, what the heck? Imagine, you know, in Helm's Deep, uh, Mordor sending all the nine Nazgûls to Isengard to support them in the siege of Helm's Deep. Alone, that would have such a crazy impact. Or imagine, like, a couple of Mumma kills, a couple of trolls, a couple of drummer trolls for the leadership, you know what I'm saying? Okay, when we destroy this stage, we can actually go in. And I will show you how you can do this. So, in, now they are trapped, bro. It's a very tiny area. Look, all of them are clumped into one single spot. And that's where the Mumma kill will come in clutch and handy. We will give him multiple targets. He won't know which one to focus down first, okay? So he has to kill drummer, troll, trolls, um, Mumma kills, catapults, witch king. So we will give him lots of targets. Watch this. Now we will go in and he doesn't know which one to focus first, okay? In darkness too. Boom. Watch this. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Sit down. You trying to camp against me? You trying to camp against me? You think your little sneaky ranger army with Farami can save you from the destruction? Hey, GG, my friend. <laughs> I'm just joking with you, bro. GG. Oh, thank you very much for your kind words, bro. We can use that catapult. Okay, for this uh, guy, because he was so nice, let's chant a little bit. Grunt, grunt, grunt. And if you guys enjoyed this multiplayer game and want to see more on this channel, make sure to subscribe to it. And while you are doing that, you can also leave a like to this video and comment down below which of the Mordor units is your most favorite one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.